this episode brought to you by Dutch Ovens. They're silent and they're deadly. I'm, I'm talking about farts. The old Dutch oven. Pull the old covers over and rip a fucking big wet one. Boom, Dutch. Like the movie Silent Night and uh, Silent and Deadly. <laughs> it, if, it, if it's a Dutch oven, you're probably in bed, so it is probably the nighttime. And you are f- farting up the bed. Hopefully you were wearing underwear so there's no smackle. But it's going to be silent and deadly. Christmas Eve f- farting. <laughs> I just wanted to see how long you would go before I had to say anything. <laughs> hey, everybody. Just farting away. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> we're watching Silent Night, Deadly Night, and you're listening to Miscast Commentary. You're listening to Miscast Commentary. Where two guys have seen way too many movies and have way too much time on their hands. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Now here's your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to Miscast Commentary. I am Joe Finley. I am Todd Tebow, the Sailor Murray. And we take you on a different route this year. Yeah. We go away Route from... 666. That's the one. We are experiencing a horror Christmas movie for the first time, and definitely not the last time, because we've uh, really kind of eaten into our... Uh, and there's sequels. So there's lot, Yeah, there's lots. And actually, we'll talk a little bit about that because there's one particular guy in the sequel who you don't have any fucking clue why he's in the sequel. And it is genius. Now, I do warn you ahead of time, this might be a little bit of a weird one. We couldn't find this anywhere. So we're watching it on Tubi. Uh, and so there are probably going to be commercials. I don't really know what we're going to do about the commercials. I don't think we're going to pause. That doesn't seem like something we do. Um, so I guess we'll just tell you when it's happening and when it's coming back. So if you've got a copy of this movie, pause, pause when we it pause. when we tell you that. That there's a commercial. Start, yeah. Every fun go. It's easy we'll tell peasy, you, man. We'll tell you what it's all commercials. The rules. We'll tell you what commercials are there and we'll uh act accordingly, but there's only one it's thing. It's usually like commercials for to be itself. It's like I'm already here, man. I like, know. What the fuck like Yeah, I all there's right. there's nothing worse than that. It's it should be a if you like this, check this out. And which could be like mm. a hey, get to be premium or something. Like, okay, right. that makes sense, right? But like no, know. it's like, watch Silent Night, Deadly Night on Tubi. I'm like, I'm already yes. doing that. I am three quarters of the way yeah, through. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Oh, you are? Well, finish watching. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Let us do this, bad boy. Let us. I mean, we're really in a rush because this is a long one. This is a slog. It's, of a, a, it's, an hour it's the unrated version. This is the unrated cut. It is an hour 2454. Let's rock and roll. Let us press play. Now. All right. Right off the bat, we are in good state we're gonna be putting on our closed caption so we can see what's going on christmas eve is slowly finished. i am so i just literally watched this movie not long ago yeah and i got it. there's a scene in here i'm so glad we picked this not mm-hmm. just because i just watched it mm-hmm. Whoa! it's in 3d oh yeah clearly um ooh, hear that riff i do hear that look at that old wreath that's a good reef aretha oh she gets no R-E-S-P-E. Creepy piano music. There's a scene in here. Yeah. Obviously, I'll point it out. It's going to blow your fucking mind. Okay. I've already, I'm already on top of it. It's going to blow um, your mind. But what was interesting is I was actually thinking, I was like, we should do something like Silent Night, Deadly Night, or Black Christmas, or something like that. And so I was going to put it to you. I was going to be like, oh, okay, well, hey, do you want to do one of these? And literally, you texted me. You're like, I just watched Silent Night, Deadly Night 1 and 2, and I'm on a 3. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, okay, so he's on board with this. And I was oh, just I've like, really, I've been giving her. So then I and then I was like, yeah, which what do you want to do? My boom. Schedule has completely flipped around. Yeah. To midnights. Nice. I am back in vampire mode. I get I accomplish nothing <laughs> but playing games. I'm still waiting for like eight games to download on my PS4. Oh shit. Fucking thing takes like forever. So I started Dying Light again, mm-hmm. waiting for Dying Light 2 to come out, which I'm not going to play to the PS5, but whatever. Yes, we get it. And um do you? No, I don't. And I've been just watching just the most, just movies. And I go, I'm like, okay, I'll watch one on Netflix. Yeah. And I'll go to Disney and catch most of my Disney. And then I go to Tubi yeah. and watch, like, Barbarian Queen or... So I 
always forget about Silent Tubi until you remind best. me of it's it. It's absolutely the best. Oh, man. Um, but they just said story by Paul Kami or Kaimi. I don't really know how they say it. But basically, this is his only credit, and he didn't actually write anything. The director said in an interview one time this was based on a book he wrote called Sleigh Ride. But he was just some kid who was going to Harvard who like wrote a, like a treatment, essentially, for, um, for like a killer Santa movie. And they took it, and then they turned it into a movie. And then so he wanted, they wanted to give him some kind of credit, so they gave him a story by credit. Oh, my God. So the guy's like, uh, so there's, uh, I don't know, this is Santa. Yeah. Kills people. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, I and love that idea. Pretty much, I'll bite off you. Like. Pretty much. And then the guy who wrote the movie, Michael Hickey, this is also his only writing credit. Oh, that poor baby looks stupid. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> <laughs> did, did he not? Was I wrong? Um, but he's a baby. They have like misshapen heads and shit. No, but even like twelve kids with like eight different. No, moms. but he's got like this. He's like he does look like yeah. uh, that. Looks like uh, Bill Maher. Yeah, he's a pretty ugly baby. See, look at, look he's gonna it. grow into it though. You know, he's gonna grow into that face. So his first word is gonna be <laughs> flash. But um, anyway, so yeah, Michael Hickey. This is his only writing credit. One of the only other credits he has is he did additional dialogue on the John Reese Davies movie Tusk. Ooh. Uh, Wasn't that uh, Smith? Kevin Smith? No, that's tu- that's a different one. That's oh. Tusk. That's like the Walrus movie. But no, this is. I think this was about like Ivory. Or ah, something like that, because there's coaching. like ele- there's elephants and stuff like that, and then it's one of those ones. You know when you see those ones that look like they should be like straight uh, to t- or like uh, TV movies, where it's like a really bad cover, and then it has like in little squares like the, each of the stars. So oh yes, 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 rec- I love that. It was one of those. Ones. Cool. This Linnea Quigley, I know her yes. name. She was she's in other horror. Oh, shit. She's in everything, dude. Uh, Linnea Quigley. She's in Still Smoking. She played one of the uh, spa girls. This is the mother, in right? Amsterdam. Yeah, I believe so. Um, uh, she was in Return of the Living Dead. She played Trash in Return of the Living Dead. She was in Support Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bolorama. She was in Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. Oh my God. She was in Night of the Demons. She was one of Freddy's chest souls in, Night- in Nightmare on Elm Street wait, 4. Wait, wait, is that her there? I think or, that's wait, her. Wait, wait, so she was the punk? Yeah. The naked punk? No, it's just her name was Trash. I don't remember which one she was. I don't think she was the punk, though. Um, they were all, well, they're all punks. Yeah, they were all punks. But I, I think the one I think you're talking about is... I, she's I not the one, the naked one. No, she's not the naked one. Um, what else did she do? Uh, yeah, she was one of the... So, like I said, she was one of, like, Freddy's soul zombies Ooh. in uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, uncredited. The, uh, guessing from mm-hmm. her uh, previous filmography, yeah. I'm guessing she was the titty girl. Mm. I remember that movie. There was, like, tits that came out. I was like, ooh. Probably. And then um, anyway, this is something that wait, okay, sorry, okay, sorry. This sorry. Is, okay. Grandpa doesn't speak. Yeah, that's good. He's comatose. All right, okay. He was also. I want to hear all about this. I'm trying to see which one. Um, I can't remember which one of these guys he was. Watch this. Watch this. He was Will Hare. She was at the the mm-hmm. Comic Con. Yeah, uh, he actually played that old man. Played uh, uh, Pa Peabody in Back to the Future. No shit. When they, when they crashed into the farm. <laughs> Watch this. I know. I'm watching, dude. The whole time I'm going to be watching. That's what this whole <laughs> podcast is. Uh, <laughs> I don't like it when you've seen the movie recently. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> There's going to be a raping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him <laughs> to get you off of me, you creepy bastard. She can't have I me. Mean, nobody can. Oh my god. Oh, see, at first he looked like he was. He looked like he was just being playful. Like I don't want him to know that I'm okay. <laughs> Scary. Oh, we're. Gonna... Oh my god, this is. I'm just. This is genius. Why is he so happy? He was also in the movie Enter the Ninja. Oh my and god, that's like my favorite movie. Those so are the good. movies we gotta watch. And he died in ninety seven. Yeah, we'll oh, do a we'll he do did? a whole yeah. That'll be one of our other like athons. Will be just that everything has to have the word ninja in the title. I just, like twenty four straight out. So okay, so wait, was grandfather? Is he just faking it? I think or so. Or did he have to come out of his coma state to warn this child yeah. about murderous Santa Claus? We'll see if he. I guess if he goes back into it, we'll know. <laughs> Naughty oh. 
Oh, fuck. What is he doing? But um, He's essentially the, you're doomed. I know, but I just love that this is the movie he's in, and he was also in Back to the Future. These movies are one year apart. Really? He did this, and then he did Back to the Future one year apart. Huh. So somebody saw this. A casting person saw this movie, and he's like, he'd be a perfect guy to chase off. Maybe future, he just came in, and future. they were like, "Yeah, you look like the role. Yeah, he just gra- he grabs the casting agent. He's like, "Time travels a scary son of a bitch." <laughs> like, and he's like, "No, he's like a creepily laughing." I love yeah. this. Like, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of love it. Oh, yeah. No, he's faking. It's not like he shut down and then a couple seconds later he came in. He's like, "Oh, crap. he noticed them," and then yeah, yeah. I would have also like the way they opened the door. They would have absolutely seen him. God, it's a trick of the eye. That's either here. Yeah, that's either here. Just a there. trick of the eye. But I want to go back to Linnea Quigley for a minute. Uh, she has 10 movies currently in production. No shit. And one of them, get ready to shit my pants, Sorority Babes and the Slimeball Ballorama 2. No. It is happening, finally. I after think this is also years. on TV. I'll probably watch this later. Does this woman, like, do they not trade off driving? It's This is like The Shining, where they're driving for, like, seemingly 30 hours to get somewhere. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, we, we should be talking. Oh, about also, it's like the grandfather was like, if you see Santa Claus tonight, you better run. It's yes. almost as if he had a psychic premonition or something. Well, that's what I tell the kids about Santa. It's like, he's going to give you tons of presents, but if so, I mean, God, if you open that door one second too early, <laughs> he's going to cut your fucking head off. <laughs> that's how. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my God! See, he's. This is even after, like, you know, when you go, you you want to see Santa Claus, then you get to the mall, and you're like, Jesus Christ, this guy's terrifying, and you scream your fucking head yeah. off. Well, now they have that glass between you and Santa, so it's all good. They're like, you can't get me now, you old prick. <laughs> mm-hmm. It That's is, see, you know, because I've said things about old people, and it has come back mm-hmm. to haunt me, literally. Yes, ghosts. Oh, there he is. Everything seems fine. I'm. I wonder if this is. I'm sure that that is Linnea Quigley. I think that that was her because like everything. There's I other saw, girls in here. Maybe she's not. Well, I know she's the blonde one, and I know like like I saw her in other things, but she was older. So I think like it stands to reason based on age. But I guess we'll see a little bit later. Wait a minute. He's a robber. Is this how Santa gets his money? It looks for like the flea. He does look the a little chili bit like peppers. Flea. Get some yeah. bats too, bud. Yeah, might as well. Like, I mean, Jesus, because you're going to rob the oh. store. What is he going to get? Like three. I think that's it is what he getting. He's getting like three packs of smokes. Oh, look at that brand of chips. They look cheap as fuck. I know. They're probably delicious. Oh, look, look. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Ah, that was pretty good. That wasn't eh? bad yeah. for, for what this was. Can I tell you right off the bat? This so $31 you just killed the guy for. Yeah, not, it worth it. 100%. Um, so what was interesting? So this movie was uh, known as Sleigh Ride throughout the entire uh, thing of production, but they like S-L-A-Y Ride. Uh, Ooh. Right? See, see what we did there? Oh. Um, but they changed it kind of last minute. And I kind of I kind of liked it. Like, that was a cool title, but I like this one better. I agree. I like Silent but, Night Deadly Night much better. Yeah, it's I, that's better. Um, what else do we got? Um, what was really crazy, this was a huge controversy because they really, like, they really, like, focused in on the Santa killing stuff when they were doing their promotion for the movie. Right. So this actually drew massive, um, protests. And like stuff at like the that. movie theater. Yeah, they're like you're like showing commercials. Like kids are just watching TV, and all of a sudden there's a thing of Santa with an axe, like killing people <laughs> and shit like that. So, well, you want people to like, go your movie. Some of those parents, um, some of the, like some parents got together and created one of those like protests, like oh, the movie Lord, things, like the lady right? that tried to get like, uh, but um, what's it called? Taken yeah. off the air, like married with children. Yeah. But these guys won. There's these little... guys actually did it, and they got this thing out in two weeks. Really? Yeah. Out of theaters? Yeah, out of theaters in two weeks. It was I wonder only... if this movie could have done way better. Oh, it would have done way better. Um, they they said in, in retrospect, had they not talked at all about, like, or had they not, like, leaned into it all being about Santa Claus killing people, right. nobody would have said anything because the people who complained didn't go see the movies. So of course they didn't. Matter. So I wouldn't have stopped to pick up this Santa or help him either, <laughs> like, regardless of what Grandpa told me. Not in a billion years. Also... Siskel and Ebert, and this is where I like legitimately, legitimately hate Siskel and Ebert when I see shit like this. 
But um, so they, like, I don't really like horror movies, and yeah. I hated this one. It's like, no, oh great! No, like, they went further than that. They listed all of the companies and like they listed names of executives and all these things of the company who made this movie, and then were like, "You need to be ashamed of yourselves!" And like, these are the companies who own this company, and so you have to boycott all of their what? other products and all that stuff. And they were like, uh, r- "Rumor was I don't, don't remember if it was for this movie or another movie, but they gave out the address of like the director and wow. stuff like that on their." TV show. Re- they did really. Yes, and like it was a thing. Like it was a like, and they were like, "Go to his house and tell him you're like you you disapprove." And I'm just like, "Holy shit!" Disapprove of a movie I'm not going to go see. Mm-hmm. I guess because well, they were so disgusted so, with like. So what's he gonna do? He's gonna like f- just like a quick titty fuck outside. No, no, no. You see, it's cool because you know I always like the titties, yeah. but when it's like rape or murder titties, it really takes it down a notch. Did you know this is on Mr. Skin's list of top 10 horror movies with uh, with nude scenes? Really? Yeah, it's tied with Halloween for 14 with 14. I don't know what they count as a nude scene. Like if it's that's a nude, nude shot. Well, no, that's yeah, that's a nude scene. But like is it each time the shot cuz I was like when they said Halloween, I'm like there weren't 14 nude scenes. It must be shots It's got to be shots. It's got to be, yeah. So <laughs> Um, I don't know. Did I? I may so have. So Siskin and Liebert really had that much of both of them. Had yeah, that yeah, yeah. much of a problem with this movie. Yeah, it was Why? Bad. Because you could never show Santa Claus murder someone? I, I guess that was the thing. And what, here's the thing. There were movies that had come out already. Like there was uh, You Better Watch Out. Right. Which was about literally about Santa murdering. Nobody went and could, like. So they didn't think anything of it when they were doing all this stuff because they were like, oh, Santa has been a murderer in a bunch of movies already. Yeah, not, not to remember. To give a shit. Oh, no, we're December 1974. Yes. Um, after he witnessed the horrible. You know what the worst part, too, is it wasn't even the murder that got him, it was seeing his mom's boobs. Yeah. Now he's he was, really fucked up. He was born into blood like De- Dexter, but he was also born into <laughs> boobs. So he's going to be blood like a real boobs. He's going to be a real boob obsessed. So what he's going to be instead of a forensic scientist, he's going to be a plastic surgeon. Yeah. And then he just kills everybody when he works on their boobs. I like uh, that. I made you pretty and yeah. I can unpretty you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he kills them. It has to be in like breast ways. Yeah. Maybe it'll be kind of like what's it um the movie where the guy comes back for his limbs. Uh, Jeff Fahey, I think, was it? Body, body parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be like body parts, but only booby parts. Of course it's fucking Jeff A. Yeah. Of course it was. Bell. Look at his picture, eh? Yeah. He's like, what? Who does he look like other than just MacGyver because of the mullet? You I show like that mullet. mullet. That's a pretty sweet mullet. I'm weirded out that... The- <laughs> that is pretty great. So what? I'm also weirded out that a Catholic... Um, a Catholic school would be that down on like negative depictions of Santa. They don't really care about Santa. Yeah, exactly. Jesus is the reason for the season. That is exactly correct. You know what I mean? Um, but let's go back to Mr. Skin. So I want to name the top 10 movies. So Amityville was number 10 with nine nude scenes. Oh, naked scenes in horror movies. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Halloween and Silent Night, Deadly Night and Hostel all had 14. Okay. Uh, Wrong Turn or Piranha had 16. Oh, yeah, Prana's a good one. Yeah, Wrong Turn had 17. Wrong Turn, eh? Yeah, Hellraiser had 24. Candyman. Friday, or- yeah, fr- Hellraiser had 24. Friday the 13th had 49. And then the winner, Witchcraft with 77. Witchcraft? So almost double. So I guess next week we're doing Witchcraft. Oh, you know it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what we should do? Um, well, now we saw this one already. Yeah. We should do like on Valentine's Day. Like a marathon of the top titty. <laughs> I was gonna say like I was like showgirl, yeah, but showgirls is meta horror. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's more of a cerebral. It's a cerebral horror. La- movie. Later, it it, it yeah. you know it's eaten into your brain and uh, and as we learned on this show, eating ain't cheating. <laughs> what does that apply to this? Is Sucking that... ain't fucking. It's not wrong with that either. Mm-hmm. He's also not wrong with that. I love his mother superior. Yeah. Uh, oh, the woman who plays Mother Superior in this. I've got it. so that is uh, Lillian Chauvin. Uh, she was in the movie Born in East L.A. She was in Predator Two, Universal Soldier, Pumpkinhead mm. Two. Two cast members. The, the only two cast members we've talked about so far, both in Pumpkinhead Two. Really? Uh, yep. She passed away in two thousand and eight. Oh. Yeah. She likes. She liked the. Old, she played Pumpkinhead. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. That's well actually the pumpkin head too as well cuz it's like Lance Henriksen in the first one. They got some guy who like looks kind of like he's the kind of guy who's like oh he'd look like Lance Henriksen if he's like across a football field from you and you're squinting. Like that was basically <laughs> the how they cast that that guy. They're like, "Yeah, he he, he could be Lance Henriksen." Right. Like, "Do you know what Lance Henriksen looks like?" "No, then this is totally. He looks exactly like him." Absolutely him. You nailed it on the head. This, oh, the old orphanage, eh? Oh, the only thing. Why does it? Oh, that is the worst orphanage like bedroom in the world. A, it's shared. He's got a bunk bed. And B, one desk. It's an orphanage. This isn't yeah. the Ritz where you yeah. get your own fucking hot tub yeah. in your room. I'm surprised he's not sharing a bed hey. with like 15 other fucking kids. When Tom Riddle was in an orphanage, he, was, he had his own room with a closet. Mm. And that's where he kept all his secrets. It's where everybody keeps all their secrets. That's or under true. the bed. But it's only where I keep my secret men. They're all in the closet. <laughs> I am out. <laughs> oh, you that's what I always said was going to happen, man. Yeah. When you go to Hollywood. Yeah. Me and Haley Steinfeld, big, big thing. And then they catch me in a closet with Tom Cruise. Boom. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm on board. See, that's my thing. Like, if I got caught in a thing with, like, um, uh, John Travolta, I'd be embarrassed but only because john travolta like he's kind of a mess right now <laughs> he's like i i want like like, right. like even if it was back like, as far as like phenomenon john ooh, travolta like i don't mind michael like that. What michael? michael yeah like that's a good period that's like yeah. he's wholesome but he's like still like he like he's still like making big plays because <laughs> like he did like michael like michael precisely michael was making big plays was he sneaking that out? movie wasn't bad actually i, no. didn't, I didn't hate michael I like Phenomenon better. It was just the sweet premonition. Movie. Yeah. What? It was a phenomenon. Phenomenon. Where in the, the end, it fell, he thought he saw an alien, but really he had like a brain tumor or correct. something. And that's, it was like. That's Phenomenon. Yeah. 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 And that, but that's got, um, what do we got? Oh, I can already hear something uh, wonderful uh, going on here. Look at they're like on 15 stacked yeah. mattresses. Yeah. Did you hear, um. A little pervert. Or, I was watching Big Mouth, uh, and they did a, uh, uh like a Christmas episode. Right. Is that dude, dude, or dude, girl? I can dude, girl. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, confirmed. Uh, but uh, yeah, in Big Mouth, they did one where basically an elf walks in on Santa fucking Mrs. Claus, and they don't know what sex is, <laughs> and so that's all like what they were doing. And then the guy, and then um, the other, oh, and there was a, a guy elf and a girl elf, and they go out and they're like they were doing something to each other. I was like, well, maybe you can show us. So they start like while, while dressed, he's got her leg up and he's like rubbing up against her. And they're like, ooh, this feels good, and it turns out into an all out like elf fuck fest and like nothing's getting done so Santa comes out to get all the toys and they're just all like fucking 69ing and just like doing whatever oh fuck uh oh the devil's gotten into them now girl oh my yeah, god was he like, even beating the guy who like yeah you know it's mother superior's rules bud yeah. But here's my thing. What if they're also into that? What if this is actually, they've been waiting to get oh, caught. Oh, like, you know, no, no, no. You know what's yeah. going to happen? We're going to go in there and start fucking? Yeah. We're going to get busted. Then she's going to start whipping us. Yeah, you go slow. You go real slow. This is like 45 minutes later. She's been up there whipping them for 45 minutes. Yeah. God. Every time she she's like, you know what? You like that one? This one is even harder. You're going to hear, this is the one you don't like. Yeah, oh, exactly. no, not that one. This one then. Yeah. Now I've got two belts. I'm swinging them. <laughs> that was a very wonderful way of putting it. <laughs> what did you see upstairs? Nice gonna... toque, eh? Look at the toque on yeah, him. Yeah, that's a good toque. That's the second best toque I've ever seen in a movie. The other one was on Todd Murray's head during mm -hmm. Canadian Bacon. Great toque. That's a nice looking hand-me-down. Yeah, it's not My too shabby. God. The other orphans must be very jealous of that. She's like, you got the shoes, he got the hat. Uh-huh. He's barefoot right now. It's horrible. Like, they still force him to go outside for... Mm -hmm. She's right. Punishment is absolute. No what mercy an, for these children. What an awful way to go through life. Just from, like... like w When you look at religion from, like, a God is love kind of perspective, you're like, I'm on board. I totally get it. Whatever. You know, not my thing, but, I'm, I I to but I'm totally on board with that. But then, like, there's entire sects of... Sects? Sects? sect you watch, bud. of religion oh for where, she's going again yeah where the entire thing like he's in trouble for seeing something yeah but and like and like that's like their entire deal is don't worry about 
uh, you're going to get punished constantly, despite the fact that our number one thing is if you confess, <laughs> you're forgiven completely. Or, or, or just the whole tolerance and the whole mm-hmm. idea. No. She's Old Testament, yeah. that's why. But you can't be both, th- like, it's like, it's the thing about Catholicism that always killed me. You can't be both <laughs> things. You can't be, hey, if you go into this little room and tell a priest what went down, you're completely absolved. Oh, I can tell completely. you what went down yeah. with the priest. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but... At the same side, on the other side with the nuns, they're like, yeah, I don't, I wasn't in there, so I didn't hear what you said. Whack, 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 whack. Oh, and that's just wonderful. Yeah. Oh, it's just, she's just a sick old bitch, like Mother Teresa, and she yeah. loves to torture poor kids because yeah. everything, she's such an old, dried up cunt that she fucking, like, doesn't even understand what joy is. So when yeah. she, you know, she's got to snuff. The only way to live is the way I live. You know, yeah. some people are like, oh, Good. you don't do this, though. Oh, you're a fucking idiot because yeah. you don't live the way I live. But she's like, yeah. you know, some snarled up old hag. Good, and good movies, though, always have that, like, really, like, notoriously horrible evil. Like, like thinking, like, Nurse Ratched. Oh, for, yeah. Like, you know, it's like you just yeah. have that, like, unnecessarily bad. Well, they always seem That's to be that very, way in the movies, too. Oh, he's, that was he's an right awful right angle to fall out on, too, eh? I know. You could see when he, they, in, throughout the, the trill. well, I'm, like, partway through three. Congrats. Three's not really holding my interest. Okay. Wait till you get to five. You get to see... Ooh, she looks fucking smoking hot. I know, right? In her robe. Oh my god! Like, she's just tie the kid down. What if he has to go to the bathroom? He's gonna pee in his pants and get whipped. What if he was going to the bath? Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. Anyways, you see that scene of the dad falling out of the car, yeah. and you can like even like. I literally, that's funny that you said that because mm-hmm. when I see it over and over again, he kind of hits and then comes up in the air and then kind of settles himself yeah. where if he really was shot, he just would splat. But yes. I mean, like, geez, I think he does a great job for what it is. Mm-hmm. He kind of hits and then kind yeah. of, oh, you know, I'm like, yeah. oh, wow, he just like, fucking A. Yeah. He should fall like the one ring does when he drops it and it just goes. Th- and it I just mean, like, what around. are they paying you, buddy? Commit. Yeah, right. Yeah, if you didn't come out of there with a real concussion, well, like, I'll tell you what. Like this, the budget for this was nothing. So the answer is they didn't pay him. Very they paid much. all in tits. Oh, we got our first commercial pause oh. now, and this is for the Tiguan. So if you guys want to buy a Tiguan, now's the time. It's uh, Tig Juan. Vo- yes, Tig Juan. It's part Tig Nataro, part Juan Rivera. That's right. Um, well, well, this is a good time. Is that we're back? Oh. Wow, it was that was. I told you that's a quick one. I told you to be fucking rules. All right, you should have. You're way behind now. Press play. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I said we're back. That should have been enough. No, it wasn't. No. Okay, I'm very sorry. I love how they give the kids gifts. Yeah. And then the the marm here, like the mother superior, is like, all I see is ingratitude and blah blah blah. It's (laughs) like, well, why did you let the kids do this then? Everybody at the top of the stairs, and she just shoves them down (laughs) one after the next. (laughs) Ah, it's very good. See, she's all right. Yeah. Oh, he's a boy who could take a spanking on the ass. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Everybody needs to learn how to take a punch. He's not going to be like some girl. It's going to be like for 20 years later. Be like, yeah, then you're it's like, whatever. Take your licks like a man. Yeah. You didn't do anything. You're getting yelled at just like a woman. Just take it. Move on. He always does when Christmas <laughs> is over. Maybe, like, maybe you should look into that. Yo, I like it when women dress as Mother Superior and beat me. Yeah, I know, right? I pay, I pay. Oh, for that. right. And she's like, "You don't like Jesus." She punches my penis and yells about how much Jesus hates me. Yeah. So this is the unrated cut, as we said. It is at, and that's it's a cut. It's a it's an hour twenty four. We're not even at ninety minutes, and this is the this is the director's cut. Um, originally for the theatrical cut, six minutes of footage was cut out specifically. Uh oh. What are we gonna? Oh whip my him God! For? Look, oh, she's he doesn't. knowing his past. I don't know that she knows him yeah. to sit in Santa's lap. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how much she knows about that. Oh, though. she knows. Oh, does she know? Okay. Oh, yeah, they all know. Okay. All right. Very good. <laughs> 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 what were you expecting? Shot of. Here's the thing, though. How weak was that Santa that he couldn't take a punch from like a 10 year old? The sound boy? of that connect. Yeah. Look. Oh, my God. <laughs> you well, just said uh, hell. Sit down, okay. Santa. Well, uh, he sort yeah. of, as a young couple years ago, watched his family get murdered mm-hmm. by Santa Claus, and now rather than help him, listen to him, yeah. we tie him up and beat him anytime he shows any sign yeah. of uh, being fucked up. Mental health wasn't so, a thing until 2010, though, and we all we all know that. Nobody was even crazy until 2009. Exactly. So whatever. Yeah. Or oh, if they, oh, oh. That like, like what is like tune in next time, <laughs> same silent but deadly chat. Boom! Whoa! Ten years later. Oh my god! Look at this. I have no recollection. Look at this. Of this movie. Look at look at the toys. Yeah, yeah. 
Look at this guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we I got stuff on him. Let me bring him up. That's uh, Britt Leach. Uh, he was in the Waltons. He was in The Last Starfighter. He was in Weird Science. He was in The Great Outdoors. And he had an uncredited oh. role in Father of the Bride. He's the guy that gets hit by lady. Look yes. at the toys in the background, dude. They're all for real. Mm -hmm. Watch. I was going to say, is this like the toys that um, fucking um, like Dan Aykroyd would introduce in SNL back in the Yeah, day? right. But bag of glass. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a bag of glass. <laughs> oh. This is the new guy that they want to get hired. Oh, I'd hire him. Because he's like, I don't want some scrawny 18-year-old. Yeah. And obviously this is Buddy because there's the yeah. nun. Yeah. Yeah, this is 18-year-old Billy. This one was the one who actually didn't, um, he didn't want anything to do with this movie after it came out. Uh, because Why even being it then? Well, uh, it, well, I think because of all the negative press, he wanted to be on the side of like, oh, yeah, screw that movie. And so that he could like continue on in his career. But he came around. G.I. Joe. Yeah, I saw that. He's come around since that. I love this montage already. Is that fucking Jane Curtin? But, oh. There's G.I. Old, G old school. Oh, These are I real remember shit. that. Old school G.I. Joe costume. There's the Batman. How do you get away with this? Every, I don't know. But every time, look, uh, every time they show this Poochie. look at everything, because it's all real shit. And the one of them is going to blow your fucking mind. Okay. Can you hold my hand while we're doing this? No, they're, they're in the back a lot. So okay. we're going to be holding hands for a long time. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> you grab my hand when it's time. Violently, so super garage stomper. Yeah. Look at all this shit. Oh. Mr. Potato Head. You know what? They're coming out with two things that are on Kickstarter right now, or one that just was on on Kickstarter and one that currently is. One was Fireball Island. Oh my God. I was looking for it. I was mm -hmm. just at Toys R Us. They don't have it anymore. Yep. No, but you can find if you look at oh, the Star Wars. The job of the hut. I had that. I uh, yeah. I almost on bought top that. Of the thing. I almost bought that um like a, about a year ago. The Smurfs. I remember to see the Smurfs. Oh my God, I'm obsessed right now. The je the Star There's Wars shit. That, that shit would be worth so much fucking money. And yeah, look. It, oh my God. There's Return of the Jedi stuff there. Wild Bill Hill. That shit today yeah. would be worth a billion dollars. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, wait for it. Oh, fuck. Who does he look like? Oh, fuck. He looks, ooh, ooh, ooh. He looks like like this could be young Ryan Reynolds. Or something. Like he's, he's not a bad-looking dude. You no, know, not at all. Um, Iris Toys. Wow. I just, when yeah. I saw that. Job of the Hut. Yeah. On the thing, I was like, oh my God, dude. Like, oh yeah. my God. And then yeah, there's lots more. And they'll show lots more in the back. Look at these creepy fuckers. Oh, yeah. No, I wouldn't. I'm so. I'm afraid of Christmas they now. They look like the, the, the puppet that was in A Christmas Carol, but the Muppets one with Michael Caine. Yes. He, and can I say. Oh my God. The fucking thing shows up and yeah. it's like the most terrifying Muppet. I'm like, yeah. oh my God. With the, the little kid one? The first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that had a. That had like a weird aspect to it. But, um, can I just say, because I just I literally just watched it yesterday with my kids. Ah. Michael Caine crushes yes, he does. in that movie. Like, they actually said that of all of the adaptations, like, when you think of, like, and I'm not talking, like, a true-to-life, like, we're making the book into a movie. Right. But, like, we're doing something on our own. They said that that one is still, to, is to date, one of the most true-to-life adaptations. Well, the, the, I, I, it's funny to say, because I also heard that, like, he... As you can tell, yeah, approached the movie as if he was doing this on like the London stage. Yeah, like he and was so fucking good in that movie. I was like, holy fuck! Like, like I said, like, like I just watched it like yeah. last week, and I was like, holy yeah. shit! Like there's that scene where he's got tears in his eyes, and he's like, "Spirit, no more." And I'm just like, "Oh, I'm like all in with yeah. you, Michael." That's what I'm saying. And he's doing it with Muppets. I was like, yeah. "What a good, what a good find." Yeah, and then he's like, "I'm gonna take you to the past, waka waka," <laughs> and it's just like. <laughs> And like everything around him, <laughs> and it's like, and nobody would have been fine. And like, had he, the jokes to the bears. Had he been a little bit hammy or something like that, that would have been. Totally That's the fun. way to do it, though. You can't like he was. He did it totally. Oh fuck! Look, look, look! Oh fuck, man! How I have this exact flashback, <laughs> and I, I, just, I never. It's never happened to me. How fucking amazing would it be if? Um, it was the same Santa oh. from the church, and he sees him. And he's like, "Oh no, him again!" So now he starts having <laughs> weird flashbacks about this guy, and they're just staring at each other. And the whole rest of the movie is just flashbacks going back and forth. He's having flashbacks about a different Santa, but he's having flashbacks about a very real current kid. Oh, crawl! Oh game. my god, crawl the board game! That's oh my genius. god, genius! Oh my god, I have to remember that. Oh. Crawl the board game. Look, he's got yeah, his fuck. friggin' thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, going back to the ones that are out. So the other one that was out, Atmosphere. 
Ooh. with the Baron and all that, but it's all on. No, like, those nightmares. Been, no, but it's this one's called Atmosphere, but it's a remake of that one. Oh, um, yo, Baron, I can dig it. Yeah, and it because it's got they're like with the Baron, and it's got all new cards and new pieces Uh-oh. and like whatever, right? He's. Uh-oh. It's funny because I can't tell who's like. Is that a part the of her hairy girl. leg? Yeah, she's a hippie. That's his hairy ass. It's her hairy ass. Oh yeah, you're right. Is this that would be a fucking the, amazing? Is yeah. this a flashback? No, I don't think so. Is this him now? This is yes. What a weird way to pose out, eh? This is how I pose out all the time. But like, they're just yeah, like like I don't like Making what are they movies got between rules? Uh oh. <laughs> What's that scar? Santa. Call me Santa. Did, what did Santa do? Did fuck Santa, Santa accidentally Santa. shoot him? Fuck me, Santa. Fuck me, Santa. Oh, God. That was <laughs> one of the most like scarring and arousing moments of my life was Lauren Graham, who I was fucking in love with, getting just plowed by Billy by Bob Santa. as Santa. There's another Hall- There's a Halloween. There's another Christmas movie. Yeah, there you yeah. go. We'll get there one day. Uh, oh. Oh, I really don't like that this is happening. Oh, whew, thank God! Was he's got dream. he's got that he's look. Like a pissed bed again. Yeah. Is he sleeping at the toy store? Like probably that's, secretly. Yeah. He's got that kind of weird. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't pump don't pump your like love pump into that girl and then you will don't die. Punish me, please. It's because uh, you had a sex dream. Yeah. That's evil. Once you're that built up, I don't think that you're worried about shit like that anymore. You're like, I look like this. Oh, look, he's opening up a GI Joe thing. Yeah. That's what I said to my uh, I said to my wife the other day because we were watching a uh, we saw a commercial it was Chris Hemsworth with like the boss, uh, like uh, cologne or whatever. And he was like, well, he was out somewhere and he sprayed himself. And I was like, is being Chris Hemsworth not enough? <laughs> no, clearly like not. you just look and you're was just Hugo like, boss. Well, yeah, it was. And Hugo then, um, boss. but I just like, I picture him just walking up to a girl and go, hi, I look like this currently. And then just her clothes ripping off. Yes. Like, just via physics. So it's like what would Paul Rudd was standing next mm-hmm. to. Yeah. He's like doing working out for, to be Ant-Man. And then he stands next to, he said himself, yeah. he's like, I stood next to Chris yeah. Hemsworth. and was like, what the fuck am I even doing this for? Yeah, exactly. Like I, he I, was the sexiest man. Was. was Chris Hemsworth ever named? Yes, he was. What else was was uh, I think that Iron, Chris Evans was, was uh, Evans. I think Evans was as a well. lot of Marvel dudes. Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. is too old. Yeah, washed Fuck up. Fuck that guy. Oh, a couple of ones uh, t- uh, packed up there. Yeah, yeah. I just want him to bust open the. I just want the rest of this to be a toy unboxing. Oh, these guys are not getting along. No, this fucking guy. The guy yeah. in the blue shirt's been fucking fucking around with this guy. Yeah, no doubt. Look at how tight his shirt is. I can see every fucking like detail of it. Oh my life. god, I just saw speaking of that shirt and that guy. Yeah. It reminded me that Eric Estrada and the other dude, both chips, are gonna yes. be at the Niagara Falls Comic Con and William Shatner. Oh yeah. Um oh who else too? Like there was a bunch of people. They're doing out there's a home improvement thing. Debbie Dunning and um uh Richard Carnes are gonna be there. No way. Yeah. Debbie Dunning. Uh, I gotta look up who else is gonna be there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, whatever, they, Richard Carnes. Debbie, them. can your boobs sign this for me? <laughs> Fish your tan. She's already got a marker there. Bleep. Yeah. And he's like, can you just say the panel? Oh, my God. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. They, so they just told him that he has to be the new Santa. Oh, he's that's He's going to be Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, they got the suit on him. Okay, so here's the list. So William Shatner, Ron Perlman. Eric, so Eric, Rob Perlman's a big one for me. Yes. Eric Estrada and Larry Wilcox. James Marsters from uh, Va- Buffy yep, the Vampire yep. Slayer. Uh, so Carrie might actually come with me to this. Oh, Although no. I might I might actually be working Comic-Con as a uh, journalist. But like they have a booth this year, so I might actually have a press pass. Um, yeah, Joseph Marcello played um, Jeffrey in Fresh Pants. Richard Karn, Debbie Dunning. Daniel Logan, who played young uh, Boba Fett. Wow. Well. Curtis Booger Armstrong nice. is going to be there. And then we have four members of Sons of Anarchy. So, like, on top of Rob Perlman, Kim Coates, Ryan Hurst, Mark Boone Jr., the voice of um, Mario. Mario Charles I would Barnett. totally pay for his autograph. Linda, uh, Linda Larkin, who is the voice of Jasmine. Philip Glasser, uh, who is from American Tale. Mick Foley. Tom Morga, who is in Friday the 13th Part 5. And then that guy who was, like, in the audience and got <laughs> to be the goalie for the Hurricanes. I'm going to get Mick Foley to sign one of my belts. Yeah. <clears throat> we gotta double check what his price, but it can't be as expensive as the Undertaker. He fucking better not be. He's Mick Foley. He's supposed to be yeah. a man of the people. Sixty yeah. bucks or nothing. No doubt. 
Uh oh. He's yelling. Oh, at he's the laying kids. out the off oh, yeah, the totally. like he, he sure knows how to handle uh-huh. those kids. What a movie. Yeah. Well, like I love the just I really can't get over the Ebert, Siskel and Ebert thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a fucking movie. You're not going to say that when when more Scorsese makes a movie about a child prostitute, mm-hmm. that some fucking racist fucking piece of crap goes and then yeah, saves. Yeah, fucking incel. Yeah, well, he's worse than that. He's like some yeah. racist fucking yeah. crazy maniac yeah. who slightly redeems himself because he just wants to murder somebody anyway, so then he yeah. goes and murders all them. So this guy's Andy. He's played by, I got his name here somewhere. I lost it. Uh, it's Randy Stumpf, which I get that I kind of understand. This was his final credit. He was in Days of the uh, Days of Our Lives, like a few credits prior, and then there was a few like random things. Uh oh, she knows what's going on. Well, he just told her yeah. that he's now Santa Claus. Hey, bitch, he's fucking Santa. What? <laughs> but um, but yeah. So this was his final movie. I don't know why, but I think I also know why. <laughs> Dude, wait till we watch the second one. The dude that stars a part two is amazing. Yeah. Oh man, I'm really excited. But somebody was saying they were like they like had they promoted this movie as more about like that guy's like mental anguish. <laughs> <laughs> What's saying? Is right? If they if they promoted this more about like this guy's like mental anguish over like his trauma and all that kind well, of shit. Kind of I was like, the, yeah, yeah, but at the same time, like if you showed just Billy and then all of a sudden you saw like a knife coming down and stuff like that, and you're like, oh shit, like the, I. <laughs> but again, I don't think anybody even fucking understands what's going on at that point. It was Santa uh, Claus. He's like, I'm sort of trying not to murder everyone. I'm yeah, just that was basically the whole deal. Oh, they got those chips. What do we got here? Oh, uh, fucking yeah. missed it. Yeah, well, it, it was like, yeah, we found this. We found this underneath a dead guy in a store ten years ago. Canada Dry Club Soda Bud. Oh, we got a shout out Canada. It's dry. Huh? Oh, that's Champagne who he looks like. Ales. He looks like Peter Berg. The kid. Yeah, the Billy looks like Pete Berg. The like no, he did to me. At least in that shot, he did. He's got a similar. Yeah, he looks like him to me, like a young Peter Berg, not a current like. Oh, uh, don't get him all liquored up. Yeah, I'm drinking and lusting at the same time <laughs> while wearing a Santa outfit. This is like my worst case. Oh, there's Matt, there's a Castle Grayskull. Yep, they've sold the exact same Castle Grayskull. I saw it at Walmart the other day. Like it's the exact in the same box and everything. Like they just you know, you just reminded me. I need to get my nephew something, but mm-hmm. like I've, I always get him Nerf guns. It's like the only thing I know. Oh, the, yeah. oh, oh, oh little yeah. mistletoe on his crotch. Uh-oh. The uh, I just I don't fuck. I don't know if he's into. He's eight. Yeah. I saw this killer. It's funny for me. I'm like fucking hey. Yeah. It's like this killer Hot Wheels thing, but it's like this huge mountain. Yeah. And they race all through, and there's like a big skull, and I was like, man, that's pretty fucking cool. But I don't know. It all I know is that he likes guns. I know. That's always the worst part. I'm like, like fuck, I don't know. I want to get him something to do. He likes Legos, but I've got him all the Jurassic World. Oh, I've got him all the Jurassic World Lego. Yeah. There's nothing left. Yeah. I don't uh, fucking know. Yeah, I know. I've been doing a lot of uh, Minecraft <laughs> Lego for Reese. I built a few of them with him, and they're just so... <laughs> He's just standing there. I'm so drunk. Why are you standing still? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is some acting, man. Look at that tuft of hair. Why didn't I get that when I went bald? You I would mail keep, order I would have kept you can it. mail order that away. I would have kept it, too. I'd like have this like curly little thing coming down the front of my head. He looks like he reminds he me of like Jim. So he's neighbors. drunk. He forgot. That's exactly the vibe you get from yeah. this guy. Golly. And he is the guy who got hit in the head forty four 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 times. <laughs> forty four times. I'm like whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> he certainly does. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh, yeah. He's like, I knew somebody was going to tell me to murder eventually. <laughs> He's acting like... This guy got so drunk so fast. He's acting like the fucking... um, Like all the other... uh, Like short circuit robots. Like something's just (laughs) gone wrong and he's just been programmed... Like his programming just got screwed up. But it was just a... (laughs) It was just a drunk guy who's mildly attracted to him. He's like, like, this party's fucking lame anyways. Yeah. The other chick's fucked uh, off too, so. Andy, look, Andy's got a beefy butt. 
Oh, no, I think it's just something in his pocket. Well, he just keeps his wallet back there. I was no, but Mike. I don't know how anybody. Do you keep yours in your back pocket? I used to until I I, I had a real I had a real problem in my back and I went to a chiropractor. Like I threw out like everything and I went to a chiropractor. He's like, can you show me your wallet? And I took it out of my back pocket and he took it from me and he goes, you don't put it there anymore goes in your front pocket yeah exactly and it was the same thing it was a fucking costanza wallet and i was so i was like sitting like this you take it out (laughs) and um yeah it was like he just did all these things he's like show me how you sleep and i like lay on my stomach he's like nope that's not a thing anymore like how do i unlearn this he's like you're gonna have to figure it out or have a really bad back like oh god he said he had a present for her that he's been dying to give her nice this reminds me, this has the vibe of um, that scene in Chopping Mall, which we still have to do, uh, where, like, everybody's having, like, a party slash orgy at, like, the department store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't watch that movie? No. The problem with this party is there's no fucking music. Well, what are you talking Crackle about? They're in the middle of singing. <laughs> Yeah, that's not music, okay? That's <laughs> drunken camaraderie. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to go Party's already man. got that. This is noise. Like, they are prominently showing that star. Like, I feel like Lucas paid or for that to they be Because really, like, yeah. it is front well, always and just in the center. background there. Yeah, but it's but it's always the center. No, no, like, what well, was just in the background there? Yeah, what? Oh, what? What I, was? I, like, oh, what did you see? Well, the oh, job is the, the job again. There, right? See, it's moved, and the Masters of the and Universe the thing is the, yep. to the left, but there's Mousetrap. That's a really old Mousetrap with one of them out. The mouse got out, bud. Yeah. Fuck. I guarantee it's crazy. Oh, is it monster, monster makeup? makeup? Yeah, I'm just trying. There's Garfield. There's Garfield, something, something kit. Yeah, those costumes. Just I love costumes. that when it's like you're going. Okay, it's to say that I'm going out as Jason, yeah. and then me as Jason have a picture of myself oh, on I the mean, front of my shirt. Wouldn't that not be like? Oh, that's what you got to do. What the fuck, like, what? This is the, this is your new thing. You go to the devil's latex, go get a Jason something or a leather face something or whatever, and then we will make you a leather face shirt that looks like that, where it looks like the bib. <laughs> right. And there's he does have killer ones. Uh, you got to show me how I can re-sign in. Yeah, I'll sign. I also have to re-sign into Facebook because I, yeah. I haven't been there for so long yeah. that it, like, you might shut off to, or something. You, if you got an email talking I about things. Oh, okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll get you sorted out. We'll get you started. Because oh, I got to start talking to him because I sent him money. Yeah. And it turns out, uh oh. Oh. Uh, well, she should have been wearing See, a, a lot of the boobies in this one, you got to be take away because they're kind of like rape boobs. Yeah. I never like rape boobs. Mm. I mean, he's not really. Don't get me wrong. It's not the boobs' like, fault. No, I'm not shaming no. the exactly. boobs. Exactly. It's not the boobs' yeah. fault. Yeah. It's definitely the guy's fault. Don't boob shame a rape. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, look, look. He's, he's jerking. He's I have jerking. such a hard time. I'm having a hard with, time. Right now, I, I get it. No, but you know what I mean? Like with, like, I, I can't wrap my head around the um, mentality of that kind of like, Ooh, oh, you don't want to, yeah, you don't want to have sex with me? Well, I'm going to pump it in you. Like, it's like, I yeah. like, it's such I a crazy yeah. thing to me. And I know that that's a good thing, but like, it's just like, I she I still don't know Linda Hamilton there. She does have a bit in of her a... beginning of uh, T. Like he's it's, full yeah. on trying to rape T-1. his bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's got his hand over her mouth. Like, well, imagine you shoot the scene and you think, oh, okay, well, it's just going to be in this one bit, and that's going to be in it. No, it's going to. We're going to flash back to it as often as and possible, all the time, even in number two. Yeah. Cut. That's such an easy. Like I watched. Yeah, that's that, so easy. Yeah, I, yeah. But I mean, they, they wasted all their money on the killing of the, of the boobs. No, they no, spent it on oh, boobs. Yeah, great way to spend oh, your budget. I was thinking the effects for killing the guy in the store. Oh, because like oh, they, fuck. Is he mentally yeah. taking? Yeah. Is he gonna have the knife in his hand suddenly? Probably. I watched. Oh, he's uh, all sweaty. Yeah, very sweaty. I watched. Um, uh, forged in fire and they made this knife and he's like let's see if this knife will still cut and he literally he ta- he goes behind like the back of a pig neck and then slices the neck like he's going stealth on him Look, oh, my, how hand. strong is he he was like <clears throat> muscly don't get me wrong but not like no, he's beast strong yeah that's way like, too ridiculous well, I don't support this I love how he's like you little tease also he could have kicked her at any point yeah, I hate oh there's nothing that makes me angrier than that go home and jerk off now he's dead. Yeah, that covers that. But she's like, "Geez, he was well, only raping me." You I was didn't gonna have say, to "Kill him." I was gonna say, "She's conflicted. Like, do I thank him or do I just say, like say nothing and make a run for it because I'm next?" 
Oh, that it was just weird. a little bit of fun rape. Yeah, we all go crazy yeah. sometimes. Yeah, true that, bud. Fucking kill his ass. Piece of shit. Yeah. Pamela, that's Tony Nero. She didn't do a lot of stuff, but she's in a movie that we have to see called Commando Squad. Mm, it sounds and, like something I'd be into. And then she was in um, an episode of Knight Rider. And her. I. Oh, yeah, here we go. Mm -hmm. And now he's fucking. What? Shit! I was like, going to say something about oh. that creepy bastard there. Oh, Pun oh that's what I was going to say. Oh. So, what was going to happen? If Buddy gets away with his rape, like she's oh. gonna come out of there with her shirt ripped open, yeah, like crying, and he's uh, you know how women are, uh, maybe, you know, like well, maybe he just was playing a numbers game. He's like fifty fifty. She goes out the back door. She was naughty. <laughs> well, she didn't take it in the back door. She no. better be getting out the back door. Yeah, he's like, if she goes out the back door, I am scot free. That's what happens to fornicators. And he's like, I go to jail for the rest of my life if she comes out the front door. This is a a the horror movies are a great sell for celibacy. Yeah, here's As the thing: nobody that celibate gets murdered by killers. The sign said employees only. He's an employer. He should not be going back there. Oh, this is the break room for the stu for the staff. Yeah, motherfucking drunk piece of wow. shit. Can take a big shit in the microwave. Everybody should do that. <laughs> I tell you, that's a, so a show I really got into while I was out was uh, Superstore. Oh, how is it? It was really good, uh, man. Is uh, from Kids in the Hall in that? Mark McKinney is crushes in that movie. Well, he's that was awesome. Yeah, he's so good in it, but like everybody's good. Like everybody in it is good. Is the girl uh, from Colton Dunn really good in it? Ugly Betty? Yes. Is that America Betty Ferrera? Yeah. Is the, like she's the main person. But it's from, like, it's, remember, we've talked a, a number of times about kind of this, like, lineage of comedy and how it kind of all started with, like, like Conan and um, Jeff, da uh, Jeff Daniels, like, basically made everybody. And right. Like, so it was like, those guys came down and then, like, Jeff Daniels makes, like, The Office, not Jeff Daniels, Greg Daniels. Greg Daniels. And uh, he makes The Office. And then that puts out all these huge writers and then they all go off to like one guy goes off to make um uh what was it parks and rec another go guy guy goes off makes um like brooklyn 99 -Nine. somebody from brooklyn 99 -Nine then goes on of to course, make of course of like, course so it was just this like long yeah. lineage and it's like you go back find any of your current favorite shows and you go like oh he worked on this show with these people and then they all worked on this show and they, like it goes all the way up and it always leads back to greg daniels or conan o'brien or kevin bacon or kevin but yes somehow always kevin bacon too Oh my god, this girl, but buddy there. Actually, was like, somebody does me lead to Kevin Bacon in my list here. Of course it fucking does. By the way, we'll it there. always does. All, all roads lead to Bacon. Always. Oh my god, look at that. That's like the, the Terry Fox play kit. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I, 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 I was going to say, it's, it's either that or Richard. Um, what's his face? <laughs> Richard, the like, come on, let's sweat. Like, oh, Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons, yeah. Oh my god, that is just a straight up murder. See, weapon. this guy was like, this party's totally lame. I'm telling you, he was gonna get laid by her. She yeah. was totally into it. They literally just drank an entire bottle yeah. of whiskey. No wonder he's so fucking yeah. loaded. She looks like a caricatured version of the mom from Karate Kid. Oh, I think she looks like the lady with the crazy eyes from uh, They Live. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm talking about, I right? I do know. Yeah, we've had her in about 30 Oh, yeah, yeah exactly, time. exactly. And, and her she's right up our movie alley Margaret there. She's, I think. No, Meg. I can't believe Meg Foley's going to be at the thing, man. Yeah, I know. Oh, my exciting. God. That's in 2022, though, right? Yes. Oh, but 2022 awesome, is soon. But it is it's actually it's sooner than you think. No, it's it like, exactly like... as soon as I think because I know how time works. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, you do, huh? Well, I have a... I, mm -hmm. well, yeah, there's a bookshelf. And uh, then you're older if you're on the other That's side of the correct. bookshelf. And then it you makes Matthew to McConaughey left of cry. The bookshelf, you're yeah. McConaughey. Yeah. Right of it, you're his child. Mm. Oh fuck! Here we go. We the way I th the way I think about it, though, he's gonna come back. He's gonna be all youthful. He's not gonna have the responsibility of his kids because they're all old people. That's right. Dead. But they didn't and, take care of him. And he's gonna be in the future, so no condoms. And they and <laughs> will. The, he, you can be. Hey, daughter, son, mm -hmm. leave me all the money you made. Yeah. In the future market. Yeah. Like, well, who else are you going to get? Gotta give it yeah. a, if, if it was me, I'd give you the money. So, yeah. Or he's just got to find the right spot on the bookshelf and then just stick money in one of the books and then he's rich when he gets out. Oh, know. yeah. I don't know. Like a savings works. plan. Oh, no. The mistletoe is rotten. Oh, fuck. It's a good thing he's been murdering. Like, he's like looking for excuses now. He's like, this is not. 
It's true. Yeah, the, the, the justification is over. You've just killed three people. Yeah. He's now officially just kind of going through, going, okay, how can I tie this to my next murder? <laughs> well, I see tricycles and bicycles back here, so that's something. How do I? I see he's gonna go. He's gonna find it. Boom! Oh, boom! Oh my god, that box is just rocked him wrestling style. She had to like corner herself, so she had to place those boxes in front she of her. Squeeze. She squoze she had, in. She did. There you go, girl. There yeah, you go, yes. girl. Oh, my no, God. Stop. Oh. Oh. What a dickhead. You know None what? None of these people deserved any. Well, the rapist guy, yeah. yes. As far as who you think it looked no. like and who I think it looked like, we're both right. It's of course both we of, are. It's both of those women. Oh, the I love that music. old that old gag, eh, with the arrow yeah. sticking out. Still a good yeah. one. Yeah. Started with Steve Martin. Yeah. Oh, that, that oh, Santa's fuck. fucking. He's like, eh, eh. yeah, yeah. He's like, give her, kid, give her. Ah, uh, the key. I'm surprised he used the key to open the door. He uh, doesn't want to break private property. Yeah. It's not his. Well, it's going to draw a lot of attention. See, he's thinking too much. He's planning too much of this. I don't. Well, he's probably been planning it his whole life. Yeah. You don't want the alarm going off. He wants to murder more. There's more people being naughty mm -hmm. that need to be corrected. Nice. Nice death face. Nice. This just feels like the end of the movie. Like, has it been that long? Or it's no, nope. uh, it's close. No, there's about twelve people that yeah. enter the store uh, and get murdered. Nice. She's gonna get busted for this. Uh -huh. You still open? I like the idea. Like, there is a. This is one aspect I kind of like. I like the idea that she's like got like this vested interest in him. She's kind of like Doctor the... Loomis. Yeah, that's a great. That's a great way of putting it, actually. This is all to me that all of these look people the girl. look identical. Yeah, look she's really late. She, I was like, she is making sure that nobody looks at anything but her. You know, like if they're all buds, yeah. they're like, she's the keener that they bring yeah. along, and then they're like, fuck off. Like, she looks like if you went to the Hall of Presidents and Zachary <laughs> Taylor was like just like losing his mind, <laughs> and you're just like, I, I know, uh, I know Kennedy's talking right now, and he's talking about like we choose to go to the moon, and, but like second, like it's like freaking uh, FDR over there is having like a little shit fit. FDR, yeah, I don't know which. Oh, I, think I don't know which presidents random, are there. These might be just random fornicators. My question is, which presidents aren't there? I need to. I need to know. My Probably Nixon. Yeah, my favorite thing though is the fact because there's a Trump there, and oh a lot, my god, and a lot of people made a uh, comment that the face looks like they just like they counted on it being Hillary. Oh, and then they just, and then they just it. like made the rest of it Trump and they just like threw the rest. Cause it's got like this really weird, like thing going on. He looks it's a little he bit. He does have a lot of titty in yeah. it. I forgot. I just watched it. I was too busy mm -hmm. losing it over the Santa murders. Go back to bed. Or is that, I can't remember who anybody is. That looks like friggin' Cobra Kai, man. Like the exact, dude, the moment they showed him, that's exactly what I thought. Yeah. Doing our home, phys ed homework. Yeah. Uh-oh. Santa won't. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a very. took it, right? What kind of, like, bad parent isn't there on Christmas Eve with their kids? Why can't I be one of these like young fornicators that gets murdered? I know. I was so what bad. What the hell? I was so bad at being a teenager. Oh, uh, me I blew, too. I blew the whole goddamn So did thing. I. Whatever. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. I get the, Oh, you know what would be the best? He lays her down and then she closes her eyes. It stays on her head. Then she looks and then he puts it. You see his balls are in the corner pocket. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> see, making movies rules. Uh-huh. I see. To me, that would just be more awkward. Oh, uh, that's else. what they all like, say. They say it's like, like awful. They're like, you're trying, like, it ain't nothing. You got a bunch of sweaty union friggin' yeah. sound men. Like, it's my like, job. There's a guy literally like this close to you with a boom. If we're not allowed that's to right. stay in and watch, then we walk. Mm -hmm. Don't fart, cause we'll hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause so, the fucking shit's mm -hmm. going down up there. So that's Tommy Leo Getter is his name, or G Geter, Jeter. I don't know. It's the, that's how it's spelled. Uh, he was in Footloose, which he looks like he was in Footloose. Uh, he was in Penny Dreadful as well. He was oh. in the movie No Way Out. Uh, but uh, this is my connection to uh, Kevin Bacon for this one, uh, which is very loose. He was the producer of The Closer, which was starring no. his wife. Well, there you go. So. I, I'm down with the Daisy Dukes. Hell thing. yes. Who's wearing he it? Like, it? Where is are the they? guy from? No, it's 100% not. Like I just oh, said, his name is it Leo Getter. looks like him. Actually, like, really? Yeah. yeah. You really just answered the door like that. Trick or treat. 
Yeah, that's a weird, that is a, definitely a weird uh, kitty, 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 choice. kitty. It's also snowy outside. So the the suggestion here is that she uh, is this the, the girl the from? I'm thinking that this is the girl from Sorority Baby. That's Linnea. Line, line, line. I was that literally Linnea? Yeah. literally just thinking the same thing. I think that's Linnea yeah. Quigley. Yeah, I believe that's right because she was younger, and she has no problem showing yeah. her boobs off. No, no problem. But I uh, like. But she traveled to this babysitting job. I'm assuming she's not the big sister or whatever. No, she's the babysitter. Yeah. So Whoa. she's but she's so she's wearing Daisy Dukes. She changed like, her to go there. there. Yeah, like that's the thing. Dad like, doesn't cold. let you go out wearing your slut gear. When you get where you're going, then you change. You've given the best possible explanation to this, but he they've definitely made him like a behemoth. Yes, he's like super strong. Yeah. As we've seen. Like this is like a Michael Myers kind of situation. But he could have picked her up like that, no problem, but yeah. Yeah. Well, this is that was just more of a dirty dancing kind of thing. It's, this is a good decision making. But this was my problem with the last Halloween movies. Too much planning. He's not like... Yeah, he's playing this. Not, he's a sod. He's improvising. Yeah, but he's just like... takes a lot of upper body work. But I feel like he was making Punish. a decision. Because A, he's like really trying... Like he's really lining it up and stuff like oh. that. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a good effect. This movie kicks ass. Yeah. Oh. oh. I want like Mythbusters. Will you test this? Does blood come out of your mouth like that? And when whenever somebody gets impaled, the blood comes out of their mouth. And I think it's just cheaper than spending a lot of time on watching the stuff come through and become right. Like, and then extra blood pouring out and all that. Well, stuff. I could see. I don't know about, uh, about your mouth, but yeah, I could see somewhere up here, like because it's blood. And then yeah, bleh, like yeah. it's going into your system. Uh huh. It like, sounds like you're being fucking impaled on something up there. What the fuck? We never played. We played a lot of pool in high school, but we never played topless pool. We should have. Yeah, we probably would have won more. Have. Yeah, exactly. I think it's because we always had that scenario Can't where we only had one or two. These. There were only one or two females, and I think that that would have like put them in a very awkward position. Oh, no way. We're all topless fucking yeah. A. It's like, hey, join the club. Yeah, I know. I would be like, okay, what's well, like that? We should have played pantsless pool. Now that's something. That would have been the best. Holy shit. The cat could have got out. <laughs> <laughs> the cat already was out. And then he's like, I'm also going to leave so nobody blames me. He's like, did you break the door me. or? Yeah. This is the worst. Uh, this is the worst oh, scenario for this poor guy, though. Let's think about it. not only did he's got he. blue balls. Well, yeah, not only that, but then he, the, the daughter witnessed that these are the only two people in this house. So even if he takes off, it's like, well, her boyfriend was here. Where is she, who's, where is she looking? I think this? that is Lydia Quigley. Yeah, I think I think, think of her right. totally shaved head and as a punk. Yeah. And naked. I does, I'd recognize those boobs I'll look, anywhere. I'll look her up. Oh, see, he's ready to fight. Oh, fuck. You're not going to kill this murderess. Oh, he hit him. Oh, first one that comes up. See, this is what I was saying, though. Mm. She's, like, she's older in these shots, but I think that's her, though. Right? Oh, that's the mom, I think. Oh, you think that's the mom? Oh, yeah, you might be right. Yeah, because she's a bit older. Yeah, she's a bit yeah. older, isn't she? All right, so so there. So there. So there. Uh, you don't call the pol- Well, he did just smoke the guy in the face with the yeah. thing, and he, he got up pretty quick, actually. Well, at the very least, it'll help him not get blamed a little bit. This guy is, like, nonstop murder. Punish. He's really, he's feeling it. He's Destroy. in the zone. He's in the zone right now. He's not That's why he's socks. so strong. God Pick the guy right up in the air with one arm, bud. Yeah. Catholicism makes you strong, I think is what we're learning. I thought oh, he was gonna grab the him, grab the pine cone. Yeah, I thought he was gonna grab the pine cone and hit him in the head that That's nothing was gonna too. happen. And that was stick gonna right really to happy. his face. That would have been alright too. Shove him in the fire. Oh, just removed his shirt. So that Kick he him put into it in the fire. So what was the point of him putting it on? Oof. Nice. Run for it, buddy. Oh, I don't think Ooh. so. Nation oh, fire. I like this uh, when they yeah, when they go downstairs. That feels survivable for what it's worth. Oh, totally. That just reminded me because the way that that was like up by that snowman head, it looked like it was like one of the harvesting tools from like Fortnite. It's Bieber. That's who he looks like. He looks like Bieber. He looks like I Bieber. Don't, I don't get that. Yep. Him. Look at him. Nah, he's a thousand oh, percent Justin actually, Bieber. Actually, when he was about a quarter turn, he looked he's like Bieber. At, whole, every fucking time I've seen this movie mm-hmm. being twice <laughs> in the last uh, week. Yes, recently. <laughs> it was... It's, I was I know he looked like somebody. She's being good. Kill her. Yeah, that's probably. I did the head. Nah. Oh, uh, have a toy for. Her. 
Well, I mean, like, what's what do you consider? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's totally Beaver. This Beaver's is Beaver. Really... Beaver's gonna lose it like this too. Yeah. So yeah, this yeah. is this is it. This yeah. is this is him. He's definitely. I don't yeah. know how that chick stays married to him because he's just a fucking mess. Yeah. Well, because I mean, when you look on the like, her father is Stephen Baldwin. Mm, good so, point. Good point. To that. <laughs> That nails it Here, all down. I, I, I don't know. He just basically, as a gift, he play, he put the murder on her. Oh, yeah. The, the, she goes to jail big time at yeah. the end. Like, we know you can't commit it. You're obviously, you got the thing in your hand. Wouldn't that be the best? The beginning of Silent Night, Deadly Night 2, it's like the trial of like the little child. Like She's been tried as an adult for killing. I am not that far, but I, I thought that in part three, yeah. it would be her. Oh, okay. And there is a girl in part three, but I, mm -hmm. I wasn't feeling it. Like, I kind of... Yeah. I, well, it might very... If, it, if I did three, mm -hmm. it would have been in 3D, yeah. and that'd be her. So one of the big uh, detractors of this movie beyond uh, Siskel and Ebert was Mickey Rooney, uh, who really oh, came out against look, this. Look, look, look at this glass. Oh, that's rough. No, but it's like, you can see how they set it. Look at it on the ground there. Yeah. It's kind of... Cut, There's literally, then, like, spirit gum on it. Just yeah, nobody going to say. I still dug oh, yeah. it, though. I still dug what they went for there. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's low budget. We get yeah. it. It's fine. Um, but anyway, so Mickey Rooney, like, kind of raged against this as well and was kind of like, you know, it's, you know, uh, this hurts the fan. Like, it was that kind of ridiculous thing. But who should appear in Silent Night, Deadly Night, The Toy Maker than Mickey Rooney? <laughs> no. So, but people, like, the belief is because it was produced as The Toy Maker and then Silent Night, Deadly Night was like thrown on at the last minute and it was so it's like a sequel in name only kind oh of God. thing right so um so i think that that's kind of where that one's coming from like it's like because they're like he's a hypocrite because he's doing this but it's like right. i don't think he really knew he was doing a silent night deadly night movie but at the same time like if you're gonna be in a horror movie about like christmas and santa and all that kind of stuff he was sneaking in to oh uh, oh uh, that looks a little bit like um uh, what's his face? Uh, Leah Thompson. He's like, oh, it's just a dad coming in to molest his daughter dressed like Santa. <laughs> Not yeah. the Santa we're looking for. Yeah, you see, he's like, you were just coming in here to surprise your daughter. He's like, yeah, surprise. And he's like, and then the I wife, bought her rope and jelly. <laughs> the, the mom's like, you've been in a mental institute for four years. Mm -hmm. Have not. And they're like, now this is not the Santa we're looking for. You know where the best place for him to hide would be? Santa Con. He would be in the. He'd be in like. He'd be in the <laughs> bottom. You know what? If yeah. when when we when we remake yeah. Silent Night Deadly Night. Yes. If, with miscast uh, yes. Pr productions. Yes. It that will happen. Yeah, and there here's... will be a Santa Con in that very town, mm -hmm. which he will. Yes, but here's the thing: he will be in like in the middle tier of craziest people. But like there's the thing. The thing. It's like that's what they said. I guess Santa Cons they were banned for a time because people got so drunk and nuts there were like massive like fights and they were like like drunk and like, like I think there was a San, there was a Santa Con in New York or something it's like, like that. Like a gang rally yeah. essentially. And and there was a, a huge brawl like 50 Santas in this massive like brawl and stuff like that. And then they were like yeah this every isn't Santa, happening every, anymore. Every Santa Con yeah. doesn't end with a giant brawl. It is deemed a failure. These guys both look like they play the exact same role in every movie, but yes. it's only one of them. Like they just like like it's like the, we we need like the we need the weird dorky but asshole kind of guy. And so either one of them, they all show up to they both show up to the same uh, auditions for every single right. show, and then it's one or the other <laughs> gets it. But this one, we're like, I like them so much. Let's just let them both be in it. Put them both in, because that's where our money's going. This and then to just drag a knife across that makes blood squirt out of it. Oh, oh shit. Bah, we're going to bully you. Bah. <laughs> it's essentially a <laughs> who springs out at anybody. And this is also Christmas Eve. I like, know. Like, what the fuck are these guys doing wandering around out there in the dark? These guys at least are going sledding. Yeah. But but to be fair, it's like dark at like five o'clock here. Yeah. By like you know, seven thirty at night, it feels like it's fucking two in the morning. You know, the way this kid on the left is dressed right now, you know all I hear. You're not gonna call the cops. <laughs> what kind of a deal? <laughs> From Bloodsport. Yeah. Oh, he wants. Now, this guy's like, how old is this? The other guy. Like, I don't know. Jesus Christ. He looks like the sensei from Cobra Kai. He's like, my wife kicked me out of the house, so we're just going around picking on kids. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, he wow. does. He does look like he's a man in his like yes. late twenties. 
So I'm still in school. Whatever. He's even got him in the Cobra Kai chokehold that he puts Johnny in. Like, That's because it's so good for the the old double shot. Yeah, two, yeah. two close-ups on your, That's exactly Two face yeah. close-ups in one shot. Yeah, we don't want people thinking it's a stuntman in a headlock. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was that guy. He's like, if they think he's like, they're going to call me a wimp at school. Right, I like that the whole kids. thing is that we get to like this is exactly how the end the how my movie uh, loose limbs ended where the guy chased like a guy off with a, who had like a loose leg and then he just starts playing with it loose limbs uh, it's still good from a guy who knows people with loose limbs I love it yes I know right? <laughs> I just I like I the idea. both bully dudes are like scared to go down first yeah I know. You can't handle this hill. What is he going like? Like maybe like, eight like a miles baby, an hour. Like could yeah. fucking. Now he's like he's helping himself along. Maybe they saw Clark Griswold go down this same hill the previous night. Right. Like, like well, if he down. did, you would have seen like a like a comet landed right yeah. there. I'm trying to decide what other Christmas movies to watch this year. We've been through a lot of them this year. We went through all like the classics already. Well, after this one, there's yeah. that's it. That's yeah, it for the classics. Just watch all the rest of them, I guess. Whoa, hands up. Like and not even hopefully they're drunk for Christ's sake. It's like a fifteen degree angle. Yeah. Like he's literally yeah, having to push saying, himself like down. Exactly, oh shit. Oh. That's pretty great. <laughs> please tell me he's gonna come down and there's no head. Please tell me that's what's about to happen. Please, please. Is it great you having the best please, time? Please, 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 please. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> no head. No head. Oh, uh, yeah. I tell you, this movie well kicks done. fucking ass, man. Well done. It should be uh, squirting more blood, but you know. Oh, I wanted it to land and then the head come back on. He's like, I'm fine now. Christmas miracle. <laughs> oh, God. See, it was a good thing those guys got bullied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised he just watched that guy scream about his friend and then didn't kill but him. But in fairness, the other two were good. He might have just given them pocket knives. Ah, true. So... That's what you get when it was murder weapons. The thing is, it's like, I think there could have been a better break. Like, cause he was really looking for an excuse to kill that one. It would have been nice where he just sees and is like, she looks good. And then it's like, he had a toy from the toy store in his pocket or something that he could right. get her, rather than here's Spin a fucking a box girl. cutter. Cause you'll love this. <laughs> is he going to like grab a boob? Yes. Oh. That'd be amazing. I've always wanted to touch a nun's unmentionables. A nun can. No, that's not nice. (laughs) It's just rude. Yeah. Grabbing a little side tit, not a problem. Yeah. She's a nun. She's used to it. She's a nun. She'll forgive me. That's the whole deal. (laughs) Once you're no longer a child, they're not going to beat you. They just have to forgive you. That's right. Also, I'm a man. Therefore, I outrank her in this religion. True. He's like, what a night, huh? (laughs) Especially somebody with Nixon jowls. Oh, fuck. It's the second mention of Nixon in a single episode. <laughs> oh, wow. Probably eh? zero, zero mentions of Nixon in the previous 300. Yes. Which well, this we, is episode 301, baby. You got to get a couple in. Yeah. Well, we missed out on lots of opportunities in our first 300, so we better make up for it. Yeah, no, I know. But the Pig had some pretty famous friends. Yeah. We never watched um, The Watchmen. There's a lot of Nixon going on in that one. We should have nailed that down. She All knows. Around, she knows around. where he's going. Yeah. He's going home. Home. <laughs> yeah, with the orphanage. It's like, why? She's like, I watched this movie oh in the 70s. Lord. Why didn't somebody say that random thing to me just now before? Yeah. He's so strong, he's just oh, going to flip fuck. the orphanage over. I said over weird. I know, like once. Orville Redenbacher or something. Orville. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to flip it Orville style. <laughs> yeah. I would appreciate I, I, I would. Oh, there's a Miss, Miss Piggy. Piggy. There's no <laughs> Like, there's no way that this is I'm just telling okay. you, man. Oh, it's okay, bud. She didn't age a day considering this is like what? This is almost 20 years later. She's 29. Yeah. Are you listening? (laughs) See, and she seems like she's softening a bit. Hey, is that the girl from the party? Yes. Why is she like he didn't kill the parents? Oh, are you an orphan if your babysitter gets murdered? And it's like once she's left, no. once she's left unaccompanied, she's like, "You're an orphan." She's like, "My dad is around the corner. He's on his <laughs> He's way in here the right yard. now." He's like, "He's nope. in the yard. Get out of here, orphan." She's like, "You can't take my daughter. She doesn't Uh-oh. have a son, or she doesn't have a father. Whatever. I don't care." <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the best. They just wait way. all night. They never. They don't go check. Yeah. They don't. 
That would have been the best if Mother Superior was just there, feet up, and she's like, "Yeah." So I says, you know, <laughs> I says to Sister Kathy, and I says, <laughs> "I says, give me one of those smokes, you bitch." Yeah. Nice scenery right there. Yeah. I know. Where are they here? I don't know. Yeah. Did they ever say? I don't. Oh, what does it say? I th honestly think it said you, something like you know, Vacation County. You I'm know, trying to read what, what it says. What also, shoot to kill if necessary. It's Utah. What could go wrong? They, Utah. They have Utah plates. The polygamy running rampant. Yeah. So then no, so then he probably wasn't an orphan either. He probably There was probably a spare parent floating around somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> You're still an orphan. Yeah. If they've abandoned you. Why wouldn't he just take off? I know he's supposed to be a murderous Santa, but they're all got their eye out for Santa. Yeah. You could have taken the gear off, yeah. walked right in there. Yeah. And probably murdered everybody. I think he just, I, I think like he, oh, look at that dirty snow yeah. they're having a snowball fight with. This is the thing. Ugh. Like this orphanage. You're right. I never noticed that before. Bleh. The second they like sent them all out, the second they sent them all out, I was like, this feels less like recess and more like yard time. <laughs> it was like, I picture like guys like just like lifting <laughs> weights. Kids and pumping like iron. I do like this old Bronco. Yeah. Uh, Utah Bronco truck. That like looks a little bit like like uh, unfamous Peter Weller. <laughs> it's like if Peter Weller never became famous, or Paul Bettany never became famous, or wouldn't be if he looked like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Dead or like, alive, creep. Yeah, they're coming with me. Yeah, you're the creep, mustache boy. That's not. Oh, I'm so sad that that's definitely not him. And what's even worse is oh, he no. basically this is how all the sequels got made. Every single one of the people is one of these kids. Eh? Or am I right? Am I? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Absolutely. I wasn't going to say anything. But the kid that got the blood all over him, he's the murderer in the next one. I fucking knew. I was just going to say it has to be him. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, the kid that got the blood on him. Tune in. That's fucking awesome. Tune in December twenty fifth, two thousand twenty two, <laughs> when we just solved that crime. <laughs> the face you just that made is so good. I can see you trying to hold it back so bad. You're just like, I can't. Just, what's done is done. It was like, oh my god, like. It's like if you've seen movies. It's like as the you've seen at least three hundred movies before. Yes. At least. No, yeah, we've knocked those <laughs> I out. Saying, I was totally not going to say anything until the next one. I'd be like, remember the other? I like, know. Too, fuck it. <laughs> oh, you got her. Ding, 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 ding. I could not be happier right now. Oh, my God. Talking about going. whooping kids <laughs> um, in a Santa suit, yeah. I went to uh, Winter Wonderland. Yes. And Canada's I don't Wonderland. know what the deal was, uh -huh. but I played Whack-A-Mole. I was literally walking out. Yes. So I'm walk -a -mole. playing whack a mole. Yes. And well, first there's nobody there, mm -hmm. but I think that they like lower the standards at this thing because there's less people. Yeah. So they were like, I walk up to him and I'm like, yo, like I want to play this game. And he's like, you need at least four people. So I'm like, hey, people, no, you know. <laughs> and I get a bunch of those, like, a dad with his kids, and then this young couple comes, and I was like, to the dad, I was like, you better play. Yeah. I was like, because I'm going to smoke your kids. Ugh. Like straight up, like no mercy, dude. So yeah. you better play. He doesn't play. I'm in the fucking zone. You don't look at each mole. No. Like a mole comes up, I hit you. Yeah. Mole comes up, I hit you. You do. You you. Yeah, you have to see the you whole know picture. What I'm saying yes. You you stand. And I was just like boom. I was in the fucking zone. Boom boom uh, boom 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 boom. That one. Broken microphone. Get a new one. That's one of those fucking things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some shit. Well, Anyways, you know, I got microphones. Six, I'm swimming in microphones. Six dollars and the, like fifty cents. Yeah, and I won their biggest prize. Nice. What was it? Uh, it was a huge, a big like this big like a squishmallow. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, nice. I bought. I couldn't believe it. Six dollars and forty cents, and I won the big one. Usually, you have to like win that one, and then yeah, yeah. If you want to keep going, you know, you can yeah, get you this next one. But no, it was just like boom, you won the big nice. one. Nice. I got a. Um, I, I saw like ads for this thing. It was like a big, like a cat body pillow kind of thing. And it's like, you know, it was like four feet long and it was a squish mellow kind of feel. Kind yeah. Of thing. But it showed like this woman holding it and she was holding it. It was kind of just swinging. I'm like, Oh my God. It's like Abby would love that. So I ordered it online 
And I guess I didn't check the thing because I opened it up and it was like this big. Nice. I was like, uh. So I found one that was the right length and I ordered that one. So I'm going to give the other one to my baby niece and then they'll have like a matching. Cool. Thing. That's adorable. And so I, I took I lemons, just made lemonade. Not knowing that that's how easy it was. Yeah. I had just 20 minutes before purchased like a $40 mm -hmm. winter. But I was literally looking for a Squishmallow because oh. I know somebody who was collecting them all from Cedar Point. Oh, really? And I was like, I want to get them one for Christmas. Oh, that was very nice. And I just won it. Uh -huh. Like, I, I, you know, I bought this thing. And then when I won, I was like, I want that one, mister. <laughs> and then he's like, I don't, I don't want to reach up there. What about this one? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I was like, yes, there it is. That's the one. Yep. The kids are crying. I fuck uh. Fuck them. You yeah, pulled the play. stool out from one of them and it just popped <laughs> exactly. out. Oh, I actually didn't hit any of the things. I hit the kids. <laughs> yes. I turned, bopped that kid. He falls, bopped that kid. Middle mole comes up. I tap him. I, was I just, win. <laughs> I was just going to say one final. <laughs> exactly. Boop, done. You win. know what I do? Well, because I'm sometimes I'm helping, like, I'll have the kids playing those games where I had, like, the Midway at Niagara or something like that, right? And they're sitting there and they're playing the whack-a-mole, and I'm just sitting there and I'm, like, tapping them on this thing. And it was like a bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Oh, hit them with your hands. Yeah. Oh, that buddy better watch well, bullshit. Yeah, I know. It's fucking cheating. Yeah. Same well, that's what happens. Hour, well, that's when you're playing. When you're playing for tickets, there's no, you know, it's, it's fucking Wild West. Oh, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nobody there. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. You, you, you need like eight trillion tickets to win one finger goblin anyways. Yeah. What I want is I want the next squid game to be all carnival game based things. Like you have to like put the ringer. It's like, you know, the last person or to put like the ringer. Put, put the big softball into the mm -hmm. basket. Yeah. <laughs> Have you watched Squid Game yet? I have not. No. Oh, uh, it was. It's fun. Um, they actually uh, the I, the stores is are it, now selling is there more. There's going to be another season, but there's like eight episodes. I found it funny that. Oh, he's in the closet. Yeah. I found it funny that. Um, I don't know. Remember what happens there? Maybe I was too busy hiding under the table because I was terrified. Terrified of Santa. Oh, who hasn't been? Yeah. What was I just saying? Fuck Santa. <laughs> I know. Fuck. Um, <laughs> I was talking about uh, something, and then you were talking about something, and you were going to talk about something else. So now uh, very, oh, that they had made the, the, the Squid, oh, Games Squid Games costumes. Yes. You were not allowed to wear, like, Squid Game costumes at yeah. school, but you could wear Ghost Face or a Jason mask. Yeah. Where I'm pretty sure Jason's got yeah. way higher of a kill count. Yeah, no well, maybe doubt. not. They were killing a lot of people yeah. on the show, apparently. Yeah, 455. But, I mean, like, yeah. hey, you don't even see it, right? Jason's got right. all these blood. Like, you don't give yeah. a fuck? It can come as Chucky. Mm hmm I tell you, um, yeah, the, uh, but they're, they're selling right now at like showcase and places like that. They're selling the cookies that they had there. Well, there's a game in squid game the where break. you have to, there's a cookie that has like a, like a shape pressed into it and you have to cut that shape out without breaking the cookie, but it's like a heart. It's a Dalgona, like, a. um, it's a, yeah, it says Dalgona cookie. So you have to use like a needle to like cut out the shape. And if you don't, if you if you don't do it in time, or if you break the shape, like the actual shape out, mm. it di you die. Ooh. And like literally, like somebody did it. They had a triangle. There was a triangle, a square, a uh, circle, or what was it? Yeah, a triangle, a circle, and an umbrella were the shapes. So like the triangle and the circle were like the easy ones. The umbrella is really hard because it's got a really little thin spot. Somebody broke that, and the guy just sees it pop Jesus. just dead like it's intense especially that first game because like the, the whole lead in if you didn't know, duck duck goose or something yeah no uh um, red light green light red light green light was the first one but like that's the thing like if you didn't know anything about the show uh the show and you were just like yeah i'm just gonna try this they're like oh this is gonna be an interesting thing it's 456 people playing kids games to win like billions of dollars right and then like they're sitting there and then the first person moves and red like and then oh. boom just pull it right in their chest um I give it up for Mr. Beast, the um, YouTuber. He made like he made a Squid Game, like uh, like a real Squid Game. Oh, I saw that. That was I saw the yeah. video. I did not yeah. click it. Yeah, I watched. I watched the video. I've actually now seen I, like, every lost Mr. his axe and the yeah. fucking. I was watching them with my kids, and now I have seen every Mr. Beast video, and they have not. So I just kind of kept not. going with them. My kid, like oh, my kids. Even Mr. Beast doesn't yeah. see as many Mr. Beast videos. Yeah. Well, no, but I was like my kid, like, oh, like don't I, hit the snowman. I, uh, he's been bad. He did. He there stole that hat. It's the same snowman from when he was there. <laughs> uh, but and it didn't have a head then, and it's not gonna now. He's like compelled, like when Leprechaun I must uses go the flute. To the door. Oh, when are we doing Leprechaun in the Hood? Oh my God, Leprechaun in the Hood up to do no good. Yeah, that's we gotta do. I've never seen Leprechaun in the Hood two. 
Oh, we'll back do, in the hood. Maybe that'll be. We'll do a double feature. <laughs> We've never done that before. Um. Ooh. Oh fuck! He's yeah. come for your mother superior. That's, yeah, his his beard is dirty, but um, but yeah, it was funny because Mr. Beast's uh, video probably cost more than Squid Game cost to make. Oh, probably. I guess rich as like, shit. It cost like three and a half million dollars, but in four days, over a hundred million people watched it. So probably more people than watched Squid Game. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, I was like, good on this guy. He's like a 20 something year old who's just got it figured out. And I was like, look at you, dude. I wish I could have thought of some yeah. shit like that when he was first starting up. My like whole kid playing fucking toys yeah. gets like, he's a millionaire. Yeah. He's a little kid who plays with fucking toys. My whole thing. And it's like, as somebody who is a YouTuber separately from this and a streamer and all that, my oh, whole slow mo, like my, in fucking Jason. Yeah, my whole thing is complete lack of vision is looking at that back when it started and saying, what a stupid idea. Yep. And then just I'm not even saying I never thought into my yeah. mind it was a stupid idea. Just like I'm not into this. Yeah. Oh, see, like to me, I was just like nobody's ever going to watch somebody play video games. It's nobody as dumb as yeah. that fucking still yeah. is. Yeah. People do it. And like the thing is, and they like because people figured out how to make I it can entertaining. See, like how like, to. Like, maybe if I'm super stuck and I want to yeah. see somebody play that exact part just so I can get yeah. past it. But I, you no. See, this is the thing, too. Like, I don't get it. Yep. I don't get it. I don't want to get it. Yep. I don't need to get it. Yep. There's an but I wish I did. Yeah, there's a little level of interactivity. And that's kind of where you figure it out is because, like, these guys are talking to you. Like, it's picture watching your favorite show. And they happen to be talking back to you as you like share your thoughts and you're like, ew. And like, that's the thing, right? And like then therapy. So, but like those guys, when I, like I watched like a few minutes of one of the popular, I don't really watch the big oh. popular guys cause it's impossible. Beaver's dead. Yeah. But the, um, like it's, you know, he didn't even get to make Tim Beebs. Um, <laughs> but his, uh, but like. I watched just a few minutes of like one of the really big guys and you watch their chat is going so fast that he can't possibly even see what's going on. And he, um, Oh, here's, here's the, here is he is. You can kid? see him really this building might up. Be him. This guy, yeah, it's a hundred percent him. Oh fuck. That's totally him. They're going to wink at each other as he dies. Did like the power go into him? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Uh, I feel <laughs> oh, like a okay. lot of that is just straight up her <clears throat> fault. Oh, wee, 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 wee. The, the, he could have made the face. Two freeze frames <laughs> in this movie. They should have for no reason brought the face from uh, oh, Sleepaway Camp. That's amazing. I, uh, well done. Give it up to Verkina Flower for her work in wardrobe during this one. Oh, Whoever put the problem. toys in the background, that's the real winner yeah, of this one. Really good. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, we're going into this something stupid. else. Here we go no. into heavy. Yeah, we're, whatever heavy <laughs> is, we're watching it. No, um, yeah, it skipped out of the credits, so we'll just say our goodbyes, I guess. Um, thank you so much for watching that. Merry Christmas to everybody. Holy crap, it's everything I thought it would be, and apparently what I thought the second one would be as they well. Did, they didn't even uh, do. They didn't even do like, like when you when you're watching like the movie. I don't know whether they paid. Obviously, they did. Yeah. When you watch a movie on like. I can't even think of the name of the channel, like, yeah. like uh, USA oh, or yeah. like uh, whatever. It's like the movie's done, yeah, and it's like the credits are tiny and in the bottom corner yes. while a commercial's happening. It's a squeeze. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Or like when you're watching YTV and half the screen gets taken up, like, yeah. watch tomorrow, watch this. I'm like, you better get this the fuck out yeah. of here. You know what's the worst though? Way worse than that. Like, because I've, as somebody who works at a place and actually puts the what, squeezes what, to air. The squeeze. Um, yes. Uh, the worst one is when they like, power speed up the credits yep so it was like i watched that we watched uh cut the end of like the masked singer and literally like the credits were going like okay we gotta go and it was like <laughs> and i'm like but the thing is that's not a live show because sometimes that happens where it's like oh something's happening we can't cover it up with the credits right now and then they'll get to like the conclusion part but he's got to rush through it and the yeah. credit, but the credits have to end at the same time so i'm like okay Whatever, but this is a show that's pre-taped. They a hundred percent could have done. They could have even done a they squeeze. They could fit in thing. more they commercials. 
They can fit in mm-hmm. way more fucking commercials. Yeah. So I was just like, oh, you guys, like, and it's just. Yeah, and I was like, holy no, but shit. No, but this didn't even have to be a commercial thing. They're 100% with the programming time that they had allotted to them. Right. Could have ran the credits at a normal speed just starting earlier. So well, what is the reason of doing that then? Oh, uh, well, to do it for the credits because a lot of people turn it off during the, turn shit off during the credits. Ah. But if you get something that, because, oh, the movie's These over. overlap directly. Yeah. Well, because what they want is well two things happen with some of these we don't do the we don't do the second one the first one is usually to draw you into maybe what's going to play next or like yeah the credits are on but hey this movie's coming on next or this is coming out tonight or this weekend whatever and it's like oh okay i'll stay and it starts right away too and it starts right after but some actually do that where while the credits are going the next movie starts yeah i've seen that as well yes and then they go into each other like that uh so that is yeah that we should do that it's all about just it's all about getting people to stay on your channel because credits take a long time and nobody's interested in sitting there plus it's like some movie that's been out for like a fucking forever whatever Mm -hmm. like yeah because a lot of the times especially now with just like conventional tv people are just flipping through channels and like oh this movie's on like i watched stand by me that way i was flipping through Stand by me was on. I'm like, oh shit, let's watch Stand by me. Yeah, and but then like the credits came on, and I was like, oh, what's next? Like, and I was just start flipping through again. Oh, you know this straight footballs on flipping, flipping, and um, yeah. What is how? What is we got Christmas right now? Well, as far as I'm concerned, Christmas is over. You've watched this episode; nothing else happens. Oh. Oh, maybe it was like Christmas Day or yeah. something. Well, Merry I, Christmas! I want people. Merry New Year's! Yeah. I want people who watched this movie at, right at midnight. To know that their children have been naughty. Mm-hmm. Let's see what naughty. happens. Naughty. Human experiment going on right here. Naughty. Nerds. Also, don't uh, dress up as Santa and climb in your daughter's like bedroom window. Please. Because even if the cops aren't looking for a murderous killer, that's kind of fucked. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I tell you, your kids not supposed to see Santa anyway. The most, the mm-hmm. most Santa thing I've done, and I thought it was pretty clever, even though I know like the kids were asleep uh, when I was going to bed. At night, after everything was done, I just did a little ho, 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 just outside of their doors. Right. So if they were even a little awake, they maybe heard Santa, but then by the time they came out, all the presents were out, and I was in bed. And he's gone. Right. The milk has been drizzunk. Yeah. And the cookies have been sizzunk. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Christmas is done, like I said. Good. Thank Uh, God. uh, We... Wish you the merriest of Christmas. Thank you for spending it with us. Or if you just spent like Tuesday, January 9th with us because you're watching, you're, li- you're watching or listening to this later. That's also Happy fine. Happy Hanukkah. I guess. Yeah. Kwanzaa. Uh, all of them. Whatever. Yeah. Every time I think about it, I always think about that Simpsons thing. Have like a, you know, like a happy Hanukkah, a crazy Kwanzaa, <laughs> and, a, and a solemn Ramadan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but thank you guys all so much. Uh, this was a blast of an episode. I think we're definitely watching the second one next year for Christmas. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we have some interesting stuff coming up in the very near future for... Um, just our regular movies and stuff we've been talking about catching up on some stuff that we haven't done in a little bit that so there's a few movies that have piled up uh that's your teaser uh but until then stay tuned to next episode when we do another coming attractions and tell you what all that shit is word um, find us at um miscastcommentary.com email us podcast at miscastcommentary.com uh twitter i'm at J- miscast joe I haven't been J.K. Finley in a long time. I'm at Miss Cast Joe. Todd's at Miss Cast Todd. We're at Miss Cast Podcast. Uh, TikTok at Miss Cast Commentary at Miss Cast Joe. Uh, find us on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe and all those awesome things. And uh, if you want to follow me, you can find me at Miss Cast Joe on YouTube as well. So uh, I think that covers it. Todd's maybe on Instagram if I can get him unbanned today. Uh, and we'll, I'll put that up somewhere Woo. if that's true. Uh, so. I'll, I'll put it up in writing and if if he's good if he's good by the time this episode comes out follow him forget free mary Everybody. hoover free todd murray yes free todd murray yeah leave britney alone <laughs> <laughs> and then free todd murray and then do that yes in that order please all right guys we will see you next week merry christmas let's get into the new year with some badass stuff fucking good, a goodbye bye This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media Production.